Hi, it's me again with CorelDraw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and I don't completely understand uh, what's going on. Uh, normally, green would be in it's CMYK. Uh, those greens need to be changed to, to a RGB if you're a laser engraver. And I'm thinking that's what this is because it's got a red hairline for cutting. So let's, uh, we're working with millimeters again. This shoe is uh, 60 millimeters. So let's change our nudge factor to 70. And let's nudge this out of the way. This should be the only hairline in there if you're going to cut this out. Because these are not hairlines. These are 500 point. And the green lines are actually made up of two hairlines. Those are going to cut. It doesn't matter what color it is. If it's a hairline, it's going to cut in a laser engraver. So what we could do is let's move that back. And I'm going to, if this is all going to be engraved, I would right click, no outline, and left click, engrave. Well, so let's back up here. Maybe these circles are, they're lines. That's what they are. They're not fill. Um, but it's, it's, it's going to engrave. So let's do this. Let's take the green and nudge it out of the way. I would not think this would want to be engraved or cut. So we're going to take these and we're going to left click black. There are 500 points that are not going to engrave. The text, and I guess this says tie your shoes. I would select the text and right click no outline. Now it's still CMYK, but you want it to engrave, so you're going to left click black. So same thing here. Let's left click no outline and change the field to black. Now we have two lines. And that might not be what they want. So take the smart fill tool, set it on black, and do that right there. So now you have that. So they, they won't have any hairlines that says none. Now the other problem with this drawing is that this is terrible cut line. I mean, it's jagged. She said she got it from a friend. So if you have the X7 or above, take the smoothing tool make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it five millimeters. Not 500. Five. And a little bit bigger. Then click on your item and just smooth this out. And since it's not really a... And you could, if you do not have uh, X7 or above, you can do this by taking out nodes, and let's just do that in case you don't have it. See this jagged part? It's made up of nodes. So take your shape tool and just delete, start deleting nodes. As long as it doesn't change the contour of the shoe, see we've still got a lot of nodes right there, even with after the smoothing tool, but it's pretty smooth. But if you take the smoothing tool, click on that item and reduce it, it's going to be quite a bit smoother and be a pretty good cut line. I feel pretty confident that's what it's supposed to be doing. So just take your smoothing tool. Let's actually make it bigger. Let's make it 10. Let's make it 20. I'm not normally working with, and what that'll do, that'll actually smooth it out faster, just you know, move the same amount, same, uh, same speed. And you can just see the nodes disappear. Now that's pretty good. I do it some more and then move that over and see that we didn't really change the shoe any. There's still some nodes up here that don't, does not need it. So let's grab the, the shape tool and just delete. We don't want to change the contour of the shoe, but I feel pretty confident that that didn't change it. Nodes aren't really going to hurt you in this situation, but that should engrave.
Now this green line is not very good either. Uh, you can see it's thicker and thinner. That could be a problem. We could take, let's just move that out of the way. Let's see if we can't just use a smoothing tool on it. And what might be the best thing to do would be to left click, right click, and you see you got two lines, basically. So what you could do is smooth it out prior, just depending on how good you want this to be and start deleting nodes, see if you can't get that other line closer to that line. And if you can't, just grab a, one of the sh uh, shape tools and use the handle, just kind of move it in. It's not a, uh, you can't really do much with this. Um, one thing we could try, take the smart fill tool, fill that in, nudge it over, fill that in and nudge it over, fill that in and nudge it over. Now we got rid of that double line, but now we can left click, right click, and you see that we don't have that double line anymore, so it'll be a lot more uh, easier to adjust. Now take your shape. Ooh. So click on that item and take your shape tool. And then just grab a bunch of nodes and then start moving, hold down your control button. Take your virtual segment delete key. I don't see why that needs to be uh, lines like that, but it's not my drawing. Same thing here. Just take a bunch of, you go down here and then delete that one. So you're going to have three different parts and that's going to be a lot better. Now it is a line, so we can make it thicker. You can always move your box out of the way. Let's make it three points, nudge it over twice. And now you have a quite a bit better, it's still not perfect. I would still, and because it is a line now, you could use the shape tool and it should. Now I would lower this to 10 again, because you're gonna, you're working on something pretty little. So it's gonna react quite a, pretty quick. The good thing about it, when you touch that one object, it won't, 10,000, no wonder I can't see it. There it is. You're not touching the red line and, and you can get it pretty well. I'm hoping I'm understanding the, what the problem was. And just you know, click on the item so you, it starts doing it. But as long as it's semi good looking, the nodes aren't gonna hurt you. You know, it's just a little bit, little bit of waviness there, but it all depends on what the use is. See, I'm not, I'm, I'm not touching this item, so I'm not messing up those circles. Anyway, I hope it helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.